you guys and welcome to a new video in which everything is chaos and madness. Right now, I don't know if you can hear, but uh, they're changing my boiler and I hadn't had a boiler and hot water for, Jesus, like three weeks now. And um, it's funny because every time we need to take a shower, we go to the gym. <laughs> I know, exciting times. And also, they're taking away my baby today uh, because my computer needs to be repaired it's glitching every once in a while. I'm going to shield you from all the boring side of this, from my life, but yeah, they're taking my computer away from me today. And I just, I need escape from my reality right now. <laughs> and everything is changing and I need something that it's safe and comfy and nice, which is you guys. So you're distracting me from the chaos of my life. Good thing though, we finally have internet at the office, which is nice, so I have my phone uh with me at all times that's nice but today you guys we're not talking about internet and problems or anything we're just going to do art and that's that's great that's great when i went to new york i bought this baby ed and i went to bleak's the art supply shop and he was like it would be great if you could do a video painting with this set making sure that um just to like let people know that they don't need really expensive art supplies to do art and today i'm going to try this baby <laughs> If I can be honest, guys, I am really nervous because I haven't painted with Laura Cartos in a, in a while. And also, it gives me the pressure that I have to perform well, not only because you are watching, but also because I'm trying to, be, to prove people wrong. Like, you can use whatever you want to do art. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a lot of pressure on me right now, but we're just going to have fun and see what happens. I'm going to use my regular watercolor paper and I wanted to use real brushes, but I think, I think it will be funnier <laughs> if I use this one. So I am going to use this baby right here. Let me sketch something quickly and we can try this palette together. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it. So guys, um, every time I have no idea what to draw, I go to Instagram and I save some pictures of like ladies posing. And this is what we're doing today. So sorry about you, nice lady, because you're gorgeous. But I, I, I don't know why I drew you so pissed. This palette was literally two fifty dollars, so it was it was really cheap. And um, I think I'm going to use this piece of paper to do some mixing and see how the painting reacts with the paper. So wait just a second. I just want to say very quickly that this is the worst, the worst brush, <laughs> the worst brush I've ever <laughs> used. I hate it so much. I hate it, but I'm, I'm, I'm committed to this thing and I'm going to finish. Okay, back to the video.
Hi guys, um, it's right after lunch. I decided to take a break and now I'm going to embrace the last part of this um, experiment. <laughs> Even though I can't use the brush that came with the painting set because it's awful and I hate it. <laughs> it's all right, it's just that it's too plasticky for me. I'm going to do the outline of the illustration with um, a separate brush but I'm going to use the same painting that comes in the painting set to do the outline. Ed is like, no, leave the illustration like that. It looks gorgeous. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Uh, but I think I, 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 will, I will love to see the result with the outline. Uh, I was torn between uh, the blue painting and the red. I still don't know which one I'm going to use, but um, I think I'm going to use the red one. Even though I love blue a lot, I think it will look cooler with uh, red. So let's see how that goes. I just finished with the illustration. What can I say about it? I loved and I hate every second of it. I, I, if I can be completely honest, I love the result. <laughs> In the beginning, I was really torn about the texture because since, the, should I do a review of this palette? I feel silly doing it, but anyway, if you wanna try it. Um, I feel like the, the palette itself, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have much pigment in it, so when you're trying to dilute it with water, it tends to separate a lot, so you will never get a very uh, plain color when when you're painting with it. So in the beginning, I used to, I just like, I hated the effect. I hate, I don't know if you can tell, but the texture is awful, but I don't know why it gives the illustration such character and personality and it's exactly what I'm trying to do with my illustrations, not only on my iPad, which by the way, I'm going to review it soon, uh, but also with the color pencils, because on the iPad, I'm, I've been using the pencil texture a lot. And in real life, IRL, I have been using color pencils a lot just because the texture is so nice. I don't know why I have been enjoying very not even texture on my illustrations. Like I'm very uneven texture. I think it's just like, it blew, it's blowing my mind. So as soon as this started happening, I'm like, oh, it looks awful. But then I'm like, wait, I think it gives the, uh, the illustration some really nice character. Also the thing that helped a lot to create this um, texture, it was the brush, which, I don't want to sound like, oh my god, I'm sounding like that, by the way, but I just, I hated the brush, you guys. If you want to torture someone, give them the brush <laughs> because it's really tiny. It's too small to be supported on your fingers or on your hand. So it's like floating constantly and just like the texture, like the, 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 the quality of the brush that like the hair, I don't know how you say that in, in English anyway, is plasticky. The, all the hair is very synthetic, 
which I don't mind. All of my brushes, actually, the ones you see over there, they're synthetic hair, but this is like real plastic, you guys. And the, the tip is like chiseled, so it doesn't have any points. You, can, you can't do lots of details. So in illustrations like this, in which they're really tiny, it will be a pain in the ass to paint. So I am warning you with this, you guys. Um, I love this challenge, my loves. I, I think I am looking at watercolor in a totally different way now. I had no idea this challenge was going to be so eye-opening. So, oh my god! Because um, all of my life I've seen watercolors as this like really plain, I mean not plain, but a very uh, even texture. All of the colors need to look even and I have been really obsessed to achieve that thing on my watercolors and as you can see in past videos, but I love, I, don't don't get me wrong, I love when you um, get that uh, texture, like that very even colors in watercolors, but now when I see the, totally, uh, the total opposite, I think it looks so sick and cool, and I don't know, um, maybe this is not your cup of tea and you rather see like very even colors on watercolor illustrations. I think they're both really nice, even and with texture and not on not so even. So let me know your comments, what you thought about this challenge. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday because you're going to watch this video on Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and weekend ahead. Thank you so much to all of your support, to everybody who has purchased the book. Thank you so much, you guys. It's been three weeks since we launched it and I am so damn happy. So thank you so much. Do I need to show you the book again? <laughs> thank you there you go thank you so much to all of you who have purchased the book the book is still for sale on my shop thank you so much to all of my patrons because they allow me to buy this amazing amazing art supplies and they push me to just like get out of my comfort zone comfort zone comfort zone it is there <laughs> Hey, I'm looking for the adapter. Well, thank you, Ed, for also pushing me to get out of my comfort zone and purchase this. Because this was your idea, actually. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Thank you to my patrons. I love you guys. Bye, Ed. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> thank you so much for watching my videos and being here with me in this adventure. And yeah, stay tuned because very, very soon I'm going to do the review of that that baby over there, the iPad Pro uh, against <laughs> against tablets, drawing tablets. So stay tuned for that. It, will, it won't be next week. It will be the week after that. But yeah, I hope you don't mind. Anyway, I gotta go, you guys. This has been the longest outro ever. I love you. You're the best. Thank you for being in my life. And I hope I, I bring you joy in your life. Did I make sense? Anyway, bye-bye guys.